All right, what up, guys? Um, I can talk a little bit about my experience with Curve Setter and how it went. Um, so I chose Curve Setter um, for a number of reasons. First of all, it was a lot cheaper than a lot of the other programs, and I'd heard horror stories about the other, <clears throat> excuse me, about the other MCAT prep programs, specifically Altius um, and the the intensity of Altius and how damaging that was to students. And so um, I found Curve Setter by Googling it and I did the little sample and I could hear, you know, you listen to the voices and you watch the slideshows and I fell in love with how the material was delivered. And so I, and then I looked at the price and it was only $500 and I couldn't believe it because the starting, the cheapest thing at Altius was over $1,000. And to really get what you wanted out of Altius, a lot of people were paying $2,000, even $4,000. And so that was the biggest reason initially that I was interested in Curve Setter and finding an alternative way because I've always been one to, I like to study on my own or at least at my own pace. Um, I've never needed um, anyone to tell me when to study or exactly what to study. And so I wanted something that I could study at my own pace that all had had all the material that I needed in a condensed fashion that would allow me to be efficient in my study. And so I didn't need the giant, um, you know, Princeton review or the giant Altius book, um, with someone harping on me every day that, you know, how are you studying? Are you studying? I had enough going on in my life. I didn't need that. And so I chose Curve Setter for that reason, because I could study my own pace and because of the strategy and the science that had gone into designing the program, um, they do they have done a ton of work in only putting on there specifically what you need to know and delivering it in a condensed fashion. It's easy to remember. I'm a visual learner, um, and along with the audio that comes in, it worked really well for my brain. I could see it um, in the little PowerPoint or the slideshow presentation, then I could listen to it. And I would even, especially for the psych social section, I would listen to the lectures in the car while I was driving because I had extra time. I was commuting to work and things, and I wanted to be studying for the MCAT. And I looked up podcasts and all kinds of stuff, but nothing was as good as what, uh, what they gave you at Curve Setter. And so I would listen to the, especially the psych social ones because a lot of it, you could learn that way. You could learn audio um, in an audio fashion. Whereas, you know, chemistry and biology, it wasn't as easy, but psych social, I listened to all the lectures at least once just in the car. And then I also would study it, take notes as I went and then use the resources provided to quiz myself as well. Um, what's this other question? What did you try before Curve Setter that didn't work? And what did you, what works once you enroll? So what I tried before Curve Setter was Khan Academy and other free online resources. And the reason that they didn't work for me was because it was too broad. It was too much material, and I didn't have that much time to study. I had like six months. And so I was like, you know what? I don't need to waste my time sorting through all of this free material. I need it right now in a condensed form. And that's what Curve Setter was for me. It was, a, it was condensed, it was exactly what I needed. I didn't have to go waste time looking for other things. It was all right there, right in front of me and just a checklist and I could just go bum, 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 and then go back and check my knowledge um, and retest myself on those things. So um, what errors improvement did you see after taking the Curve Setter course? Um, Curve Setter helped me lay my foundation. So when I started studying the MCAT, I, I really had a year to prepare. So I started studying in uh, October and I took the MCAT in May. So I guess not a year, but a good amount of time, eight months or so. And in October, I took a practice test off the couch, just from the AMC, and I got a 503. So I was actually pretty stoked with that. Um, that was my baseline. So I was really good at cars, and I needed a lot of work in the chemistry, biology, and psych social. And so that's what I focused on, and that's what curves. That's what I went to Curve Center to do is build that foundation. So you know, I'd taken all the classes, the biochem, the um, biology classes, the chemistries, the physics, all that. I'd already taken them all, but what it did is Curve Center helped me distinguish between things that I'd learned in class that I needed to know and needed to remember, 
and things that I could keep in the back of my mind, but I didn't need to focus on at that moment. And so I really, in the first couple months, just tried to study the heavy hitter topics, the things that I knew were going to come up. And then once I'd laid that foundation, I took another practice test. And that got me up to about a 512, I think. It's been a while now. So up there. So that was my new baseline, was at that, um, that level. And then um, that was before I'd gone through all the lectures. That was just... I had kind of cherry-picked the things that I thought were most useful and just really tried to study those as much as I could. And I think that was in January or February that I took that test and got a 512. And then I just, by the time I'd gone through all the lectures and done all of the AAMC practice questions, those are the really the two materials I paired. I paired Curve Setter with the free materials given, well, no, they're not free, I guess you had to pay like 200 bucks for them, but the AAMC materials from the actual test maker. So I used all the AMC materials and all of Curve Center materials. And all of that put together was about 750 bucks. So all of that still cheaper than the very basic program at Altius or some of the other um, uh, MCAT prep sites. So um, my, uh, my favorite part about Curve Center was the flexibility, um, being able to repeat lectures, being able to listen to the audio, being able to work on my own pace. I have a whole binder just full of notes. So I would watch the video, listen, take notes, and then I'd wait a couple days and then quiz myself on what I'd learned that day. And that was my schedule. I would go listen to a lecture or even two lectures per day. And then that same day, I would use either Anki or something, some other like UWorld or a quiz or the AMC to just quiz myself on what I had learned. Um, a couple days prior, and that was my schedule, and it worked really well. I ended up scoring um, 519, 518, and 520 on all of the AMC practice tests before I actually took um, the actual MCAT, and then on the actual thing, I dropped a couple points, but I was still super happy, and now I'm into med school, so um, highly recommend Curve Setter. I've recommended it to lots of people, um, unprovoked. It's just the best, and it's cheap, and you know... You really don't need, you guys are motivated, I'm assuming, if you're trying to get into med school. You don't need someone harping on you every day um, saying, hey, did you study? Did you do this? Unless you're that kind of person. If, if you're that kind of person, um, you know, you can get a, someone else to coach you like that. But I didn't want to pay extra money to have someone, you know, make me feel guilty when I wasn't studying. I study enough as it is. So Curve Study is a great alternative to that just to provide the perfect amount of materials, condensed fashion for efficient study. That's what I was looking for, and that's what I found in Curve Center. Um, so I guess that's it. Thanks, guys.